Good morning, Panthers. Today's date is May 1st. In today's show, we will get a wrap up of this year's sports and we'll hear from Mrs. Fernandez about the upcoming SBAC. This is GEMS TV. Quick reminder, students need to check in with their teacher before coming to the office. If you do not check in, you'll be redirected to your class and need to bring a hall slash nurse pass. Office staff will not be supplying late slips for students who are late to class and did not check in with their teacher. No exceptions will be made. Second semester cleanup challenge will go through May 3rd. Campus supervisors will be awarding to each grade level that keeps the most lunch areas clean. The grade level that ends up with the most points will win treats, so don't forget to throw away your lunch trash. SBAC testing starts next week, and here's Paige with more information. Hey Panthers, the SBAC is quickly approaching. Let's see what Ms. Fernandez has to say about it. Uh, it basically shows what the students know, what they've learned um, over the course of their school years, especially in reading and writing and math, and then for eighth grade science as well. How long will the test take? Uh, it really depends. Um, we give four blocks of time for each subject area um, because it's done in two parts. So there's a computer adaptive part and then there's a performance task part, so a more in-depth part. Um, and so it could take some students all four days, others could do it in less time, but we really encourage students to take their time and do their best and show what they know. Where will we take the test? It'll be in PAW classes. We'll have a special schedule. Starts May 7th with the language arts portion. Um, and you'll have PAW as a big block of time for those two weeks. And then the third week for eighth graders will do the science portion in their science classes. How can the test affect students and teachers? That's a great question. So it affects students because as an eighth grader, those records go on to the high school and it could determine um, what courses they go in, what remediation they may have to have before they get a course that gives them credits. Um, so they really need to do their best and show what they have going into their high school records. And then as far as sixth and seventh graders, um, it shows whether they can move into the honors classes if they're opting to go into the honors classes, if they would need support for those. It also shows um, if they need to go into intervention classes based off of the scores. So they really wanna show their best so they don't get placed in those interventions. Um, and also if they're trying for the honors classes. Um, and then as far as teachers, it shows the areas that maybe they need to focus a little bit more on, um, and then the areas that they're doing really well in teaching and kids are understanding. What do you think about the SBAC? I'm reporter Paige Adams with photographer Avery Heckley with GEMS TV. Eighth graders, we still need more photos from elementary and or middle school to make your end of the year slideshow happen. Please email your photos to gemsyearbook at wpusd.org and make sure all photos are appropriate. See Ms. Hargis if you have any questions. Your books are coming out May 30th, but they'll still sell out this year. Order your copy now at justinsyearbook.com or in the main office for $60. Prices will go up on Saturday. And now it's time for sports. On Tuesday, April 30th, the 8th grade Lady Panther flag football team lost another close game to Olympus. There were some standout players for the Panthers. Rhino R was outstanding on defense, pulling many flags to stop Olympus. Jada J at quarterback ran some great offensive running plays. Abigail K and Kinsley D gained yardage for the Panthers. Our last game of the season was yesterday, Thursday, May 2nd. 7th grade boys volleyball had their last regular home match yesterday and had a great match. Lots of bases to go around starting with Ryan, Peter, and Christian. We had a great spike by Enrique and a great dig, great dig by Ryder. Keep up the hard work. Our next match is Tuesday at the playoffs located at Cavett. Go Panthers! Congratulations! to the 
eighth grade boys volleyball team for going 6-0 and in league and securing a banner. It was a tough match against a solid Olympus team. On Tuesday, we came out flat. The first match going down 10-20. to We fought hard to come back, but dropped the first game 22-25. to The Panthers woke up and bounced back in the second game winning 25-16. to The third game was tied 9-9. to Then Wiley got hot at the service line. <laughs> we were able to secure the victory 15 and 10 to take home the league league championship. The whole season was a great team effort. I'm very proud of the team's ability to rally together when times were tough and still find a way to come together and win. Our next match will be the division tournament next Wednesday here at gyms. Your Panthers will play at 3.30. Come out and support your team. It would be great to have the gym full of Panther fans cheering us on. Now back to Paige and Kinsley. Last student East Coast meeting will be Thursday, May 16th after school. This meeting will be held in room 105 and will be about 30 minutes. And now we'll leave you with Elijah with the upcoming weather report. Have a great day, Panthers! Hi, I'm Elijah, and this is the weather forecast for the next five days presented by GEMS TV. So we are going to cover the five-day forecast starting from today, Friday through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, uh, May 2nd through 7th. And a little overview of the weather. Uh, we are starting off with Friday today. It will be mostly sunny uh, and quite warm, uh, high of 81 and a low of 54, typical spring weather. Uh, nice day out. But, well, I want our sunscreen, something like that, hat maybe. But uh, on two Saturday is when things get a lot cooler. It, surprisingly, this late, this early in uh, May, it there there would be moderate showers, uh, maybe an inch or so, uh, with the low of 45 and a high of 59. Uh, so you might want to stay inside today, but might be the last one of the last showers you might have for a while, as summer is quickly approaching. On Sunday, it will be a little better. It would be partly cloudy, but no rainfall, and a little warmer with a high of 66 and a low of 44. And Monday is pretty much the same uh, weather, a little bit warmer, about uh, let's say 6 degrees, high of 72 and a low of 48. Uh, partly cloudy again, uh, not too much sunshine, but again, no precipitation. But on Tuesday, instead it will be sunny a little warmer, high of 74, low 44, and that's the five-day forecast for the weather presented by Gems TV. The company's like family from the top to the bottom, and you feel that support no matter what part of the company you're in, you feel the support of the whole family. My dad, he's worked here for 28 years. My brother, he's been working here for six years. I came out, graduated high school, waited until I was 18, saw a job over and applied, and just kind of staying with it. The company's been huge for my whole family, and possibly maybe my kids one day. We're not a company of numbers. We're a company of people. I think it comes from, from Red Emerson. His greatest asset is the people that work for him. It's more than just working here. You know their families, you know what they do, you know their kids play baseball. It's definitely a family operation. I went to my younger brothers that also works for Sierra Pacific. I looked on the bar stool and I seen his pay stub. I was like, wow, you're making that kind of money? He goes, yeah. And I said, well, the next time they're hiring, then you let me know. That was 14 years ago and so that's how I got started. We treat people like family. They aren't just employees. The strength of the company is the people, number one, and that forest resource, number two.
And now, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Platinum Level, Tamerlu Studios, Morel Events, Far West Rentals, Sierra Pacific, Police Athletic League, Gold Level, Empire Gymnastics, and now, our silver sponsors, Escazon Village Roseville, One Nest Property Management, T-Mobile, Ridgeway Family, Collision Pros, Stable Constructions, and McAllister Floor. Thank you for watching Gems TV.